Happy Tuesday, my friends! When it comes to family matters, we always say, blood is thicker than water. But for Jesus, in today's Gospel, submission to God's will is what matters the most. This is Sister Gemma for today's Gospel Power. While Jesus was still speaking to the crowds, his mother and his brothers were standing outside wanting to speak to him. Someone told him, Look, your mother and your brothers are standing outside wanting to speak to you. But to the one who had told him this, Jesus replied, Who is my mother? And who are my brothers? And pointing to his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. Like all human beings, Jesus entered the world of being born into a human family. He knows that blood ties play an important role in the formation of a person's identity. His own mother is no doubt. Jesus' first teacher and model in obedience and fidelity to God's will. Despite Jesus' strange expression in today's gospel, he does not ignore his family's visit. Rather, the visit provides him with the right context for teaching his disciples how the kingdom of God redefines relationships and raises human connectedness to a level that supersedes blood ties. Belonging to God's kingdom does not depend on blood ties, but on the submission to the will of the Heavenly Father. Everyone who obeys God becomes a member of Jesus' new and universal family. My dear sisters and brothers, may our belonging to God's family lead us to do and live His divine will, like that of Jesus, our brother. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, bend our stubborn wills and incline us to submit to God's will in all matters. Amen. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name. With you alone to guide us, make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life, and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. <laughs> 